All right, so people in Chicago are upset about a police shooting of a 13-year-old black teen as he was raising his hands in the air. Surveillance video shows 12 cops reportedly engaging in a foot chase May 18th of the unarmed 7th grader who was being referred to as AG. Lawyers for the child's family say the boy was running off on the sidewalk into a gas station parking lot, raising his hands and turning his right, turning to his right when cops shot him in the back. Lawyers for the footage show so two officers dragged the boy onto a different location. The boy survived but suffers from injuries to his esophagus. Not only that, they think he's going to be paralyzed and not being able to walk again. Uh, it's it's uh, when you say seventh grader, uh, you clearly see this as a child. Uh, there's 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 no justification for running, shooting. Uh, if he had his hands up in the air, whatever he did, I think it may have been a stolen car case or something like that. That does not, that should not end in you shooting him in the back. Um, the other thing I think that, that also stands out was that when the little boy was shot, there was another officer who came to the scene that crashed his car. Uh, after shooting this child, they did not see to uh, see about him. They did not tend to his injuries whatsoever. They went to help the officer from the car. So they let him stay there and languish while they tended to this other guy who crashed his car. And so now they don't know how he could he have been saved. Could he be able to walk again had they been able to render aid to him immediately? Yeah. You know, it's just really sad to see uh, stories like this come from my city yeah. um, because I feel like um, day in and day out, I'm always trying to prove like it's the, the city is so great. My city of Chicago is so great. Um, but it's just really sad when you have to see stories like this over and over and over again, even just not even in Chicago, just in the world yeah. to have to, you know, like you said, he was so young and so much life uh, still to live. And, and um, it, it, you, you think like, OK, he's alive, but then uh, his esophagus and again, Mimi, like you said, not being able to walk really are you living? Are you really alive when you have a lot, pretty much lost, you know, yeah. your, your quality, can, of, life. Your yeah, quality yeah. of life? And yeah. by losing that, you know, it could be very financial for your family yeah. to take care of you. Yeah. So they should be compensated for sure. And, yeah. you know, I've had a conversation with police officers. I know you want to get home to your family, but when you have that many man force around that and you see the situation of such a young person, why do you feel the need to shoot first? Mm -hmm. Twelve officers. Yeah. Twelve officers. Yeah. It just seems like a bit much for... Uh, uh, yes, aggressive for a seventh grader. Agreed. Absolutely.